Yesterday, I got a gallon of milk, and today, I got this. Big difference. What, I got two cups? Yeah. It's normal to fluctuate, but this much, I kind of wonder if she's drying herself off. Because her baby's coming in August, and last year, she dried herself off about this time. It's not because the calf got to her. I personally unattached the calf this morning, and they were completely separated. So she just may be slowing down milk production. The calf hasn't been drinking as much. It's eight o'clock in the morning, done the regular chores. It's project time, my favorite part of the day. But I got a lot to do. I, I wanna accomplish three things, and we only got an hour and a half. One, I wanna set out the chicks that are in our kitchen out onto the grass. I wanna set up the porta brooder and get that going. Two, I wanna straighten up these fences because the dinos are getting out since we moved them around. We just need to tighten them up. And three, I wanna get ready for the turkeys. Oh, wait. I, ru oops. I ruined the surprise. Saturday, we're getting turkeys. I figured, I'm the bird man. I can't be the bird man with just four different kinds of bird species. Right now, I got guinea, chicken, turkey. No, I don't have turkey yet. Guinea, chicken, goose, duck, four. I gotta have five. Now, we're gonna have turkeys this Saturday. So, we're gonna set that up. First, I need some sort of cage for the little birds outside. This will do perfect. Found this in the dumpster. I've used it in the past. to put on this plastic mesh. This will work. It's not without its needs of repairs. It's been sitting around for a year. This plastic has come off. So you gotta have that on there because this is too wide. The chicks will get through it. So I gotta round me up some zip ties. Hey, beauty. Yeah. It's time to reinforce this thin plastic mesh. You wanna help? Yeah. Yeah. Get out. Go around. I'm putting these zip ties on here. I think they're my third best friend on the farm. Third behind the uh, Leatherman multi-tool and the handkerchief. Or the notepad, or the pen, or the hay string. It's somewhere up in there. Can I have your Leatherman? Oh yeah. Farmer's number one tool right there. What are you doing, Brown? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Here, you get one bullet at a time. One zip tie at a time You're for you. Funny. I'll take the rest. Okay, guys, now we're going to right side it up and hay string it together. Hold that right there, thank you. I think I'm gonna try out some of these metal hay strings for tying these corners together to cut this metal hay string wire. Yay. Nice, ooh, I like that beauty. Just let's, and then let's make sure we keep that like in so no kid um, comes running along and. Make it chiddler proof. We're gonna use these reusable zip ties on, a, on one corner so that we can easily get in and out. I gotta take a measurement for our ramp. See, we have our door for them to get out once they're in that area, but they gotta get down, and I, if you have a flat ramp, unfortunately you have a gap there, so we're gonna take a measurement of both how wide this is and how uh, deep. So I measured that, this is three inches across here, two and a half inches deep. So my idea is to cut a tongue into this ramp, okay. or add a tongue. Which do you vote for? I have no idea. That's a good brother. Let's put the tongue on this thing. Let's get the uh, waterer and feeder out of there and move these guys. Let's move this. Let's 
Let's move these guys. These guys need to go out during the day. We're behind on that. We could have done this at day one. It was cold though. Shavings up to it. Uh -oh. I'm gonna get in. Uh -oh. We got about 15 more minutes. We want to keep an eye out on these birds here out on the grass. We got a couple out, but we want to see them all out enjoying the grass. We'll go straighten up our electric net fences, and maybe they'll come out by then. <laughs> Just wrapping up the work on straightening up these fences. I got them, I've got them looking really nice. I supported them with uh, diagonal metal corner braces, tying a hay string from the corners out to that, and did it on each corner, and it's so high now. It's as high as it's supposed to be. A lot harder for them to jump out of it. We're not gonna have time this morning to set up the turkeys completely. We'll have to do some of that tomorrow, but we've got to at least get their feed for a minute. It's Thursday, we're gonna get those turkeys on Saturday, so we gotta get this going. I got my organic starter mix from uh, New Country Organic. This is for turkeys. You cannot do the same as chickens because it's a little higher protein. Uh, I'm just gonna put a couple scoops in there. Then I cover it with enough water so that uh, no oxygen will get to it. That's what helps it ferment. This will soak up some water, so I've got to really go up above it. I'm gonna say at least four inches. Put a lid on it, call it a day. This is what I'm talking about, proximity. Garden next to the chickens. Beauty's weeding the strawberries and just throwing them over to the birds and they're loving it. Hey, do y'all like to rain? Well, the real question is, do the chickens like to rain? You wanna see this? Nope. <laughs> They are in there, hidden. You guys don't like the rain? What we really want to know is how are the new chicks doing in this rain? Did they figure out how to get in? Oh man, this one's embracing it. You embracing it, man? You up on top getting getting the drops. Look, they got underneath the, uh, they don't like it. They're underneath the ramp. Hey, you guys want to go in your house right now? Tonight we're having meatloaf for dinner, which actually we call breezy pie around here. The reason we call it breezy pie, I made meatloaf when we went on our trip to Virginia, to Polyface Farm, and um, the film crew and Jess and I were sitting around and we were like, this should not be called meatloaf. Meatloaf is such an ugly name and this is such a good dish. And so we decided to name it Breezy Pie. And one of the reasons we named it Breezy Pie is because we were staying at Breezy Hill and so that's how it got its name. Here are my ingredients for breezy pie. We have our ground beef, of course, salt and pepper. This is liquid smoke. I make my own Worcestershire sauce and eggs. I set my oven to 350. Taken my ground beef out of its packages. Okay, so when I cook, I always make double, so that way I don't have to cook every single night. We always have a meal fresh, and then we have a leftovers night. So tonight I'm making a five pound meatloaf. Whoops, breezy pie. I'm making a five pound breezy pie. My boys love it, and so I make a big one. I don't know what this is called, but it works really well with smashing up the ground beef. So I cracked my eggs in. For every pound of beef, I use one egg. Sometimes, if I feel like it needs to be a little bit more moist, I may add an, an extra egg. Something I forgot to add in the ingredients list was onion. I usually put in a little bit of diced onions. Add some salt and pepper. Okay, so the next thing I like to add is the Cedar House Natural Hickory Liquid Smoke. And I just kind of sprinkle it on. 
And then I add my homemade Worcestershire. And I just kind of pour it on as well. So I've mixed it all up really well. And now I'm going to put it on this. This pan I have found works amazing for meatloaf. It lets all of the grease and fat drain off into this bottom pan. All right, there it is, ready to go in the oven. Okay, so now that it's in the oven, I'm gonna leave it for an hour to an hour and a half. Here it is, out of the oven. Breezy pie, mashed potatoes, and greens. 